hey, many of you have asked me, they say, William, uh, you know, if something was to happen to you, how would I know when to switch from a bearish or a bullish setting? And so this video will explain that. And this is based on the new Index Trading System 2.0 version. So uh, our trends here, I'm going to show you how they are picked. And going forward, we're using the 2.0. So we will use these rules. So what you want to do is keep track of the six-month return of the bearish 2.0. And you want to compare that six-month return to the bullish uh, default setting. So um, if you are in bullish 2.1, then you would compare it to the bearish 2.0 setting. If you were in the bullish 5.1, like we were not last year or not too long ago, um, then you would compare that to the bearish 2.0. All right, so does that make sense? And we're going to go through this, and I'm going to show it to you. Now, when that current trend, so whether we're currently in a bullish or a bearish trend, right now on April 17th, we're in a bearish trend. So what we're going to be looking for is a uh, we want to look for the bearish 2-0 to have a six-month loss for nine trading days. Okay, and if we see that, we would then want to check the bullish setting, either bullish 2-1 or bullish 5-1. Uh, whichever one is is in the green during that same time frame. And then we will compare, this is the third rule down here, when you're switching, uh, when you're switching to bearish, uh, bearish setting, we're going to use 3-1, but when we switch to the bullish setting, like we will next, we're going to use the best performer between the 2-1 and the 5-1. So we don't know which one that'll be, and we will wait until the bearish 2-0 goes into the red. So let's go into uh, into this, and let me show you what I got going here, and you can see for yourself how how this will work out for you. So what I've got here is a little app that does this for me, and maybe I will make this public on the website pretty soon, I suppose. I should, or you can do it in an Excel spreadsheet if you're interested. But this is how I tell when the settings should change from bearish to bullish or bullish to bearish, okay? So we're starting back here in 6-16-2009. And at that time, um, the Wall Street bear market was, was over, but the markets were still uh, behaving bearishly. And so... Over here in the bear column, I use bear 2-0, okay? So that is the bearish 2-0 setting. And the other three settings are all bullish settings. So I have bullish 2-1, bullish 3-1, bullish 5-1, okay? Now, in the past, I've used 2-1 and 5-1 for the default settings, and we're going to see why I chose those and when we were to switch in this video right here. Uh, I just put 3-1 up here. There's really no use for it. I just like to take a look and see what it does. And these results are based on the six-month return. So on this date, the, the bearish 2-0 setting had a six-month return of 50.39%. And as we go forward, you can see by 716 2009 and down to here by 728 by 783 by 89 you know by 84 2009 it was up to 457% return for the 6 months now remember these results are based on the official prices given in the buy and sell alerts and actual prices that subscribers may get uh, will be different so Let's just say you do half as well, um, you know, you could have been getting 200% in, in those six months right there. But anyway, that doesn't really matter. Uh, what matters is we want to keep an eye on this green column. So here's the rule of when we switch, okay? We want to know when the market is no longer behaving bearishly and when it's going to start acting bullishly. And to do that, we want to see this column go into the red. That shows me it's no longer working. If it's six-month return, cannot make a profit, something is wrong. But we're not just looking for one day. We want to see nine days, nine trading days, okay? That's almost two full trading weeks. If it can stay in the red and not improve, then definitely something has gone wrong. But maybe the whole market has gone wrong. 
So all of them could be in the red, which in that case, we just we just stay in it, okay? But should one of the other settings, like 2, 1, or 5, 1, be in the green for those same nine days, that tells me that the market is now behaving bullishly. So we now want to switch settings, okay? Does that make sense? And that's pretty much all there is to it. So let's move forward and see what we got going here. So as I scroll down, you can see that the two, bearish 2.0 is staying in the red. Now, right here could be a possible switch because the bullish settings are in the green as required. But we need to have nine days. And as you see, there's only one, two, three. There's only seven here. So that's not enough. So now we move on. And then finally, it does trigger right here. So we count nine days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 315, 2011 is when the bearish setting stopped working and the bullish setting took over. So which bullish setting do we use? So let's take a look at the six-month return of the 2-1. It's at 23.24%. 5-1 is at 2.81. So this shows me that the 2-1 is performing better. So we're going to use that for the default setting. So now I switch all the subscribers to the bullish 2-1. And now we look for that same pattern again. So now we scroll down. Okay, we keep going. Now here's the spot where it's reversed. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's only 8. So close. We do not switch. So we stay in. We move on. We keep moving. And it doesn't really matter if these are in the red because the uh, 2.0 is also in the red, so neither one is working. So we stay with what we're in. And again, here's a big gap, more than nine days. But remember, none of them are working right here. So we stay at what we're in. And we go forward. And pretty soon come down here and again a little gap but again this one's not in the green so we stay we stay in what we're in pretty soon we're getting six uh, month returns of 40 percent we keep going and going and going now look at we're having six month returns of 102 percent okay and now again we've gone into the red but so is the bearish setting so neither bullish nor bearish is working so we hang in there and finally, we can't hang any longer, and it starts to flip. So we count nine days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 12, 17, 2015. Now the markets have turned back to a bearish market. Now in Wall Street, they're going to tell you, no, this is still a bull market. But the market is now actually acting bearishly. And there are some uh, experts that do agree that there was no big, long, historic bull market um, that it actually did in back in 2015. And then we started another one that just ended recently in 2020. So it was actually two different bull markets and not one big, long one. And our system picked that up. Some experts have saw it. If you Google it, you'll find out. Just put in the market crash 2015 and you'll probably find something. All right, so anyway, uh, now we're back into our bearish settings. And again, we're going to go forward until they no longer work. Now, they're no longer working, but there's nothing else in the green either. So we stay. And finally, we see something going into the green. So we count nine days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So on 7-20-2016, now we're going back to a bullish setting. But which one? So if we look at 2-1, it has a 7.9% return. And if we look at 5-1, it's got a 30.6% return. So we're going to use bull, uh, bullish 5-1 now as the default setting. And so now we follow that one out. Again, there are some red here, but so is the bearish one. So we stay in the bullish 5-1. And we only have four days here, so we stay in bullish 5-1. We're moving on down. Oh, look right back here. We got 60% returns for six months. Uh oh, they're going back up again. We're starting to fall apart right here, but it's not nine days, and the, and the bullish, the bearish ones are doing okay. 
But we stay in it, and sure enough, it's paying off because now we're up 106, 110 percent in six months. And we keep moving forward. Again, another 105 percent. Now we're up 188, 191 percent for the last six months. Then we start to falter again, you know. So if you're a subscriber here around 10 18, 2019, you know, you've had six months of losses. You're now 4.87%. So you'd probably think about giving up and quitting. But you got to look at this bigger picture, folks, um, you know, because these are just parts of phases that you'll go through. And then you'll go on to some uh, really good gains. So uh, you shouldn't let that discourage you. So we're continuing to move on here. And then finally, you see the bear, the bullish settings all fade out. So we want to count nine days. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that puts us on March 10th, 2020. So on March 10th, 2020, we now go back to the bearish two zero setting, you see, uh, to a bearish setting. Now, normally in a bearish market, I like to use the... Uh, uh, a bearish three, uh, the three one. Now, if we go forward all the way up to 416, which is today, we'll see that the bullish is, uh, the bearish is still uh, the best performing one. And so uh, in my uh, results, uh, testing uh, ITS 2.0, that's what I did. I used the, uh, the bearish settings for uh, a three one for the results page.